Coronavirus cases are surging in Maryland as the state adds another 1,700 cases today. Hospital beds are also quickly filling up. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter. The governor has a stern warning for Washington as he works to flatten the curve right here in Maryland. And more counties, they are adding restrictions now. And our team coverage begins with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren. He's live in Howard County with their efforts to stop the spread. Mike? Denise, Rick, the limits on crowd sizes here in Howard County go into effect tomorrow night at 5 p.m. The police chief says she hasn't hit, had to issue any citations for anyone violating the current rules. And we heard from the governor he is concerned as these numbers continue to rise. The virus is the worst days ever. I, hospitals are starting to overflow again. Governor Hogan did not mince words about the danger Maryland faces. The state saw 1,726 new COVID-19 infections, seven more deaths, and the positivity rate is above 6%. It's not a political issue. This is about to say, if we well, just, it is now. If we I mean, just wore the masks, we wouldn't have to shut any businesses. But mm -hmm. we didn't, and didn't pay attention. Hogan, speaking at the Ronald Reagan Institute, said he's worried about the impact of President Trump stalling the transition to the Biden administration. We're in the middle of a war, and we don't know who the general's going to be. We don't know what the game plan is. And we can't wait till the end of January. I mean, you know, 200,000 people are going to die between now and the inauguration. We, we have to get on it now. We are now at a tipping point. This comes as Howard County's executive is the latest in Maryland to put new restrictions in place. No personal gatherings of more than 10 people indoors, a limit of 25 outdoors. Most businesses and religious institutions are exempt. Stay home as much as possible or limit time spent in indoor public locations or with large groups outside. In Baltimore City, a limited number of students in 27 schools were back in class with safety measures in place. WJZ got a look inside the brand new Graceland Park Elementary Middle School. The teachers, they were all willing to come back. They have been back and they were all willing to put forth. They know that the students needed this. And the principal tells us they are disinfecting common areas like bathrooms multiple times a day. It's interesting that Baltimore City is opening a number of classrooms, while several other school systems around the state are going online only because of this rise in cases. Reporting live in Jessup, Mike Helgren, WJZ.